Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to another episode of Beast Like Bentley. On today's episode, we're gonna be going over dog collars. I have Kilo over here and Bentley's hiding behind me. So on this episode, I'm gonna cover all the different collars that we've gone through with Bentley and Kilo. Some of the things that I like, what I dislike, the functionality of the collar. I'm all about functionality over being expensive, right? Like. If it's expensive, that's great. If it's a, I mean, I don't think there's like brand, popular brand names for dog collars. I mean, there might be, there could be like a Louis Vuitton collar, but like, come on, that's not gonna be practical, right? And what if it gets damaged or, you know, it breaks or something and then what, now you're out like 500 bucks for a, a dog collar? That just doesn't make sense, okay? So to start it off, we're gonna go over now, Bentley, we've had him for two years now and we've we've given away some of his collars or we've thrown them away so we don't have all of them but we have a few that we've that we've tested that we've had for a while and we'll talk about it so the first one on the list is this one i don't know it's mog and bone or something like that and you might have seen this in a lot of his videos and we've had this for I don't know, maybe like six to nine months, if not like a year, I think. And for Bentley's size, being a Husky, we always have to go with large. He has a real, it's not that he has like a huge neck, but it's also the fur and it just makes him super puffy. And because of that, you have to get a slightly larger collar. Um, so we go with the large. Yeah, I think that's a large. So this one was pretty trusty. I mean, it has like the adjustable strap and everything like that. Every now and then it will adjust on its own and you kind of have to like, you know, tighten it up a little bit. And I think that's just due from going on dog walks and you know, if he's pulling or something, just it loosens up a little bit. And so that's one of the things that I don't like about it the most is that it loosens up and I never know if if I'm not paying attention and one day we're just out on a walk and he sees a cat and then, you know, he charges and then he slips out of the collar. That's like the last thing that I want to happen. It has like this plastic belt buckle, belt buckle. It has this plastic buckle. I mean, it seems okay. Like it hasn't broken on us. Um, and Bentley is a pretty rough dog and it's pretty good. Then they have this D-ring here, which this is what you would put the dog tag on or the leash. And I'm gonna, we did both. What I don't like about it is that when you do put on the dog tag, it's a really big D-ring. So it's hard to you know pull apart that ring and then try to fit it on the D-ring, if you know what I mean. It's, it's just a pain. And then the other thing I don't like is that the dog tag and the leash would snap onto the same thing. So if you have his dog tag here, then you clip on and then it rotates and then you have the dog tag dangling and then you could possibly damage the, the other rings that your dog tag is hanging on. So that's one thing that, that's probably the biggest thing that I didn't like the most other than this, the loosening of, of this, but yeah. So that's it. We did buy Kilo one very similar. It's a different brand, but it has the same functions. I mean, it's the same belt buckle, same D-ring, same adjustable thing. Again, this always got loose on Kilo and we were constantly tightening it. Now, one day we did come outside and this was before we adopted Kilo. He was still outside, but we gave him a collar. Well, we noticed that it was like on the ground next to our car. He was gone for three days. And then when he came back, he had these marks on his neck. Somebody actually grabbed him most likely by the collar, dug their nails into his neck and then broke the collar off. I think probably like in a struggle and he got away, but it snapped the thing. So really is, is it like a bad thing that the, that is plastic and could break? I mean, I guess I'm pretty happy that it did break in that instance, but if for whatever reason that you're just playing with your dog or something, or they get snagged on something and it broke, it's like, that sucks, but maybe it was for the better. Okay. This, this one is a very controversial, uh, item here. Hold on. 
Gonna need that black liquid courage. Okay, this is what we have a, what they call a choke chain. Now you'll see a lot of professionals use this in dog shows. It's very small and it just keeps them their head up and it gives the, the owner more control over their dog, especially if they're in a show. Now you'll see this in the groomers lot too. They use this same method um, up on like the thing, they'll hook it and then it goes around the dog's neck and that keeps them still. They recommended this for to stop pulling with a Husky. Do I agree with it? Not really. In a sense, you would think, okay, if a collar is choking you, you would loosen up. Now, the way that it is set up is that it goes through, you make the letter, I think it's like P, I forgot. So you bring it through, you make the letter, then you slip it on. Now, it's supposed you make the letter, I think it's a P, but it goes on one side of the ear, and that way, when he pulls or your dog pulls, it will tighten, and then when it gives the ability to loosen when they relax. Did it work for Bentley? Nope. Did I really like this thing? Not at all. Um, I found that it just seemed cruel, I guess. So I wasn't a fan of this. Big waste of 20 bucks. But hey, we didn't know. So now we do use, we do have a harness for Bentley that we use occasionally. It depends where we're going. It just keeps him more like secure. Doesn't force too much pressure on his neck. If you have a Husky or a dog that really likes to charge a lot or just pull. Again, I don't like this because it can be like painful. I feel like it's dangerous, especially if it's not in the right position. If it's around their jugular here and then they instantly charge, I mean, what's that chain going to do, right? I mean, it's supposed to be high on the chin, but let's be realistic. You're not gonna constantly keep it there. And then the same thing goes for one of these collars. Yeah, it's a little wider and there's some padding in there, but let's face it, if you're kind of on a loose leash and your dog just sprints off, it's really bad for their neck for, you know, that tension, especially if they, you know, you tighten up the leash and then they, they really jerk back. It's, it's not good. So this is what I found. I found a, a blog that I was just like, what's the best collars, you know? And I stumbled upon this one, which I will leave the link down below. Now this isn't a sponsored post in case you guys are wondering. I wish though, I mean, hey, if you wanna hook it up. But I found this on Amazon. It's full on leather. It's nicely padded. I mean, it smells really good if you're, if you like smelling leather. Now, the thing that I love most about this, besides being like really heavy duty feel like in a nice way, it's not like one of those big chain choking, like spiky things that look hardcore, but this is just really elegant. It looks like he's a, like a gentleman, right? It just, it looks good. But what I like the most is that it has this tiny D ring right there. And what this does is this will attach his, um, his license tag that they, they, that they issue here in Malaysia, as well as his dog tag as well. And it keeps it so that it stays visible, right? But then you have this D ring for the leash, which is great. So now it will go around their neck, their dog tag showing, and then you have your leash right here and boom, it's perfect. So I really like this a lot. Now the owner, I did contact him and said, hey, like the large for our Husky, it seems to be a little too big, but the medium would have been too small. Like I would have been on the, on the last hole or the first hole, I guess. And it would have been like right there. And so he was kind enough to add in two more holes for us, which was really cool. And it fits perfectly. And the great thing about this leather is it stays like intact. So this is a size, this is a 24 inch in case you guys are wondering. This loop here, it's like there's some nice like friction because of the leather and it doesn't move. And it's not adjustable like these cheap plastic ones. 
and it has the belt buckle instead. And so for, for me, I find this much better, especially for Bentley because he does pull quite often and this just stays nice and tight and secure. And it just feels like I have more control over him versus this one that can be stretched and then slowly loosens up. And so I really like this one a lot. Now, like I said, finding a dog collar shouldn't be expensive and not every dog shop is going to have like the dog collar that you want. So I went off of Amazon. I took a gamble. It took like a month to get here because we live in Malaysia. So it's, well, the mail's really slow, but I got it. And I got to say, I'm truly happy. I got a kilo, a medium size, and he loves it. If I try to take it off of him when we're like taking a shower, he like jumps up. He's like, Hey man, give me my bling back. It's pretty cool. So that's it guys. That's the video on a collar. I mean, it's really simple. Like I said, just think about the functionality of the collar itself. Is it waterproof? Can it get wet? Is it made out of plastic? Does it feel cheap? Is it going to break? Are you just going to waste like five bucks, 10 bucks? Um, I think this ran me $24 and I got to say it's really good. So I'm, I'm really happy with this collar for the price. It's well worth it. Um, and then, like I said, it has a small D ring right here, which is great for the dog tag. And that's what I like, like most about it is that it stays there and then the leash goes up top and it just, boom, it stays in place and he just looks really good with it. So, um, I mean, there, you, you do gotta like your, your dog's accessories, right? Like it's not all about functionality, but it is a big part. So, all right guys, that's the video. Their mom just came home. So perfect timing. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe out there and we'll see you again on another episode of Beast Like Bentley. Peace.